yeah, well, we're we're coming out of the game against Oregon relatively healthy. Uh, has some, you know, a high ankle sprain and a few uh, strains and other sprains and bruises, but uh, nothing that's going to keep anybody out, which is totally opposite of this time last year coming out of the Washington game. We, we lost three or four guys to season-ending injury, so uh, we, we feel much better about our health. Uh, we're scheduled to get our leading receiver, Donald Harden, back uh, sometime this week, and uh, we look forward to working hard and uh, getting our kids healthy, but also getting them a lot better at what we do uh, fundamentally and technique-wise during the bye week and go into the next week uh, getting ready to play Liberty and looking to get our record to 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Thank you, Coach. As a reminder to our members of the media, it is uh, star one to get in the queue to ask questions. Uh, uh, Coach, you know, coming off the game at Oregon, obviously a tough place to play, but I'm sure one of the messages to your team is, uh, you know, when the team's executing correctly, uh, the Georgia State can't play with anybody. Yes, I mean, you know, I think it. We needed a game like that to, you know, some. There, anytime you've been in, around and people tell you how bad you are for so long, sometimes I think they start to believe it. And uh, uh, I think that after watching the film and seeing that, you know, when we do it the right way and hold on to football, take care of the ball, we can go out and play with anybody on our schedule. So, you know, we feel like we're vastly improved and. And we're getting better. We just—I know that score doesn't show it, but uh, there were times in that game where we competed and had a chance to cut it down to a 12-point game in the fourth quarter and, and turn the ball over. So we can take care of the football and uh, continue to improve. We'll be able to play with anybody that we play. Uh, could you talk a little bit about um, Arbuckle's performance, 318 yards through the air, um, and how he's progressed in the offensive system since he's been at Georgia State? Well, he's progressing well. Uh, again, our biggest thing is making sure we take care of the ball. There's too many. To every game we've played, we've played three games, and in every game there's been either a fumble, return for a touchdown, an interception, return for a touchdown, and uh, or, or something. You know what I mean? We so we got to quit giving up off scores against our offense. You know that that killing our defense. I mean it's. You know, we we had we gave up 28 points in that game off of off the of turnovers. So we've got to figure out a way to take care of the football, and and it starts with Nick and making really good decisions. But uh, also, you know, if you feel like you're going to get sacked or something, get the ball put away and go down or throw it away. But uh, once we handle that, I think you'll you'll his rating to keep going higher and higher. It's just the, the turnovers that are killing us. But he's getting us in the right place. And that, that's uh, that's that's what really makes a difference. And, and finally, you're you're hitting the bye week here. You know, after uh, coming back across the country, uh, just to kind of talk about what's kind of the plan for the week with uh, with student athletes and, and the team getting ready uh, to face Liberty uh, on the third. Well, first thing is to get them healthy, and then also we've got to work. I mean, we're we're still a young football team. We only have three seniors on the defense, and uh, we're we're don't have that many seniors on offense. So we're a young football team that needs to work. We'll have a developmental scrimmage for the guys that don't play a lot or the guys that are red uh this week and and uh, the red, the guys that do all the playing they'll they'll still they're going to get healthy but at the same time we're going to work and get better at what we do and work on taking care of the ball even more than we do already and and uh, get get ourselves prepared for liberty.